Hello, this is an AC Fix production. All things relating to this video can be found in the video description, so be sure to check there. All inquiries can be sent to nacfix at hotmail.com. If you have any tech problems or want to help you with tech problems, please visit thetechportal.co.uk. The link is on your screen. We are a new forum just starting out, and we could use your support. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hello YouTube, an interesting thing happened last weekend yesterday. Two release candidates were released by Microsoft. One was the Windows XP Service Pack 3 release candidate, which was released yesterday. It, uh, in tests, were shown, was shown to have a 10% performance boost from Service Pack 2. In such environments such as uh, Microsoft Office and the like. Release candidates are generally very close to the full versions, but as it is still considered trial software, you may uh, skip out on this uh, uh, upgrade at the moment. I have downloaded it. I'm going to install it later, uh, so maybe next video, if I remember, I'll let you know how it works out. The link to the Windows XP Service Pack 3 release candidate is in the description. Also, I have included a few links to some cool uh, reviews on it and the like in the description. Another thing that was released is uh, release for a release candidate is the second coming of Vista aka Windows Vista Service Pack 1 release candidate. One thing that has made itself apparent is called hot patching making it so you do not have to restart your PC in order to uh, make upgrades go into place like for instance Windows XP bitches at you whenever there are new upgrades and it sometimes automatically downloads them as it is set on default and you don't know about it then it tells you that you need to restart your computer and if you don't if you leave your computer for uh, 10 minutes uh, while you're gone a pop-up box is going to come up saying your computer is going to restart in five minutes and when you come back your computer and all your work is lost that has happened to me before I can't even go get a drink without my computer restarting on me after I've installed some updates so that is probably very useful I don't know if that was in Vista before service pack one but in any case that is a cool feature the Windows Vista service pack one release candidate has shown general improvements over the regular Vista and as well as some bug fixes so two very uh, important release candidates came out yet the Windows XP service pack three release candidate is giving you a 10 percent performance boost as I said which is another reason for Windows XP users to stick to XP. If I was Microsoft, I would have tried to destroy Windows XP as much as possible in the Service Pack 3, but they've pretty much just extended its usability and degraded sales on Vista. Not a good thing on their part, but a good thing for XP users. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I make tech videos all the time, besides a few absences. So if you like my videos, like I said, please subscribe. Have a good day. Peace.